Hello world, welcome back to CyberCrete. Today in this video, I'll be talking about how you can run the Flask app on Google Colab. Well, eventually I already have a created video on that, uh, run Flask in Google Colab, but uh, for some of you, this uh, method is not working. So today I am going to show you completely a different method of doing the same. So if you are facing the challenge from that video, you can watch this. Or if you are just new, you want to host uh, your Flask app onto the Google Colab because it's free to use, you can do that. But if uh, you want it to be persistent for like a week or even a year or a month or like that, the Flask one is not going to provide you that. On Flask, the code uh, that uh, you are going to deploy will be running uh, maximum for a day or two, not more than that because uh, uh, Google Colab is simply going to close that uh, app. So if you want to make it resistance and permanent, uh, use, uh, you can take the help of this video to deploy your Flask code uh, on Heroku. Uh, for, uh, uh, if you use that method, it is going to be there for a year or until you just simply delete that. So now let's start this video. So first of all, we have to just open Google Colab, so you have to just write colab.research.google.com and yes, uh, just to let you know, I will be providing this entire notebook to you so that you can just copy paste the entire important structure uh, just to make things much more easier for you while uh, trying to have a look at this code. So at the very first, uh, let me just uh, rename it run on Colab. So you can run your Flask app or even you can run your Django app too. But because this matter is just common, you are this in this matter, what we are going to actually see is how you can simply connect the NJ rock to the Flask so that you can serve and you can provide a basically a URL that will help you to connect to this particular server or whatever you are going to simply run. So for that, the very first thing that is required to is to install a module for uh, NJ rock. And let me just uh, simply copy the name from my second screen. So the name of that module is pi and Jerox. So you have to just write pip install pi and Jerox with this shebang sign uh, so that it is basically recognized basically as a uh, Linux command instead of just a Python code. So here you see it is uh, simply done installing. So if you don't have your Google, uh, if you don't have your, uh, what you say, uh, Njerok account, you have to go to the Njerok, Njerok and you have to uh, create an account. But uh, in my case, I have already signed in using my GitHub account, the GitHub account that I basically have. And here is the auth code. So we will require this auth code. Uh, you can simply, if you have already the auth code, it might be possible that it, it uh, might fail. So you can just simply go to this reset auth code and you can click here and you can reset that. Uh, let me just reset and let me show you. So it has been sim uh, simply be resetted. So what you need to do first? First, uh, let me just simply import all the required modules. So here I'm going to see, uh, tell you how to simply run your Flask app. So I am importing the Flask and simply from PyNJROC, I'm importing NJROC because that is where we have to do the configuration for our NJROC. So it is very pretty easy to use. So uh, the first step is to NJRO okay dot set auth so uh, the first step is to basically set your authentication key so here you see set auth token here you have to simply paste inside the double quotes uh, just remember this double quotes inside the double quotes you have to paste uh, this auth code you simply copy it from here paste it from here so it is going to simply uh, generate an auth code then you need to get a public url the url by following which you can simply access your uh, app so for that you need to, let's say, let me just simply copy, it will be much more easier. Or let me just simply write public uh, URL is equal to using this ng rock, you can say ng, uh, ng rock dot connect. And here uh, inside the dot connect, you have to specify the port number. So let us suppose the port number is 5000. Okay, so then you have to just ask it to give the public URL. So here it is public URL. So uh, if you if we run the code, uh, if you simply run the code and print the public URL, you will see a public URL that is going to be used via NJROC. 
but uh, we don't uh, require uh, we uh, should paste this inside uh, just before so uh, let me just uh, show you so if we are going to run this code again and again uh, this public ui is going to change so just make sure while configuring your flask app you have to use the latest one so what i have did here is the sample code that i have of the flask uh, let me just paste it here instead of creating uh, your uh, what you say uh, your public url here uh, i am simply creating it here but just uh, as a good practice what i will write is port uh, port uh, port let's say port number you can specify any port number let's say 5000 as i have already shown uh, let me delete it so instead of writing here like 4000 here manually and 4000 here manually i can simply copy this port number and okay and i will simply paste it here port number here uh, here so let me explain one very important thing here first what we are doing we are initializing the flask app and then we are setting up the uh, auth code that we simply copied it from the ngrock so till here we have established the connection with the ngrock now what we require to get is the public url via which we can simply access our flask app or django app whatever you are trying to run then uh, here we have used the app dot route. So here we are specifying for uh, just a slash what we are going to get. And here is the function. Uh, here uh, here is the function like return. Uh, here we are just simply returning running uh, Flask on Google, on Google Core App. And here on the next line we are printing to access the Google uh, to access the global. I think the spelling is wrong, but pardon me for that. So uh, please click on this public URL. So here once you run the code, you will be getting the public URL. And here it is very important. Uh, here we have specified the port number, and we have to also run our Flask app on that particular port. So just make uh, this thing very clear. Uh, the port on which your Flask app is going to running is going to be mapped with the port for your Angerox. So that is how they are they will be able to connect. If one have port number four thousand and one have port number five thousand, this is not going to work. So with that said, with all the codes here, and here uh, let me just simply run the code. Okay, I think the port number I haven't defined it yet. So here you see, uh, to access the collab, please click here uh, because we are printing this public URL. That is why uh, it is required to print the public URL or else you are not going to get it. So if we click here, uh, as always, it is going to give you uh, the error warning and here you can see successfully running Flask app on Google Collab. And this is how you can simply run the Flask app on Google Collab. And I know this process is much more simpler than the older one. But uh, as many of you were facing the problem, so I decided to make this video. And please make sure to like the video because it takes a lot of time and effort to research uh, once the things get updated and uh, the things are broken. We have to research it again, create the video again and help you guys again. So please just help us by clicking that like button and the subscribe button. Okay, with that said, uh, I will meet you in the next video.